A great question that came up is, can you use the second screen and share it on a Zoom call? So let's find out. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I have my Asus ZenBook Duo. It has two screens on there. It's pretty crazy. But one of the things that has been asked of me, and I am curious as well, is when you're on a Zoom call, you can share your screen, and usually it's just the one screen that you'll share. But with two screens, does it work like an external monitor? Can I share one of them? And not only can I share one of them, but because this lower screen is wider than it is tall, Will it share like this in the widescreen mode? Or can I just frame up an application in it and just share that? Can I switch them? Can I use zoom down here and share my screen up here? So we are gonna find out if you can and what that looks like. All right, so the first thing I have done here is I've gone ahead and started a Zoom meeting. I've actually gone ahead and opened up my free office PowerPoint equivalent up here. And I'm just putting it down here and I am going to, uh, Let's just resize this for what I think is kind of a normal four by three monitor. So we're gonna start with that. Now I'm actually gonna do this the right way and I've gone ahead and invited myself from another account to join the Zoom meeting. So I'm gonna jump in there so we really actually have a real Zoom meeting going and we will see what it looks like on both my end as a presenter on the ZenBook Duo and on the participants end from another computer. All right, so I've got the Zoom call set up here. I am actually on my computer here as the presenter, and then I have logged myself in here, and you can see my other computer with my Panda head cover standing in for me. So we are literally connected, and I am recording on both computers, so we'll be able to see what everyone sees. Now, I have my second screen up here with a presentation, and I'm gonna just go down here and see what I can do about sharing my other desktop here. And I'm going to just select, first of all, the app itself. And now, even though it looks like I can still see because it's hovering the little images over, you know, whatever you've got, I've got the screen down here and you can see it's highlighted in green. There's a green border around it. So on the other end of the computer, and I will confirm this, all they should be seeing is this presentation application. Now, I kind of wonder if I can go ahead and resize it live if that will also dynamically change on the other end. And I'm gonna go ahead here and maximize it. So now we kind of have this weird, funky, probably 30 by 10 ratio because we have it you know, stretched out to the full size of this bottom screen, which will probably look a little weird, but my assumption is it's kind of letterboxing it for the people on the other side. So that looks pretty good. We can definitely say we can share the screen and we can actually kind of make this and adjust it for people. And if you have a really wide screen at all, for me, I have a desktop wide screen and I have to do this kind of thing. Otherwise, it really shrinks the display. It shows my entire monitor and it makes it look like the sliver on most people's, um, on the receiving end for most people. So uh, that's a kind of a tip here if you have weird shaped screens. Now, I also wanna go here and go back and go to new share and just share screen two. And now if I'm sharing screen two, what you should be able to see here is the presentation program as well as the backgrounds and everything around here too because it's sharing that whole screen. Now if I actually go ahead and slide out this extender and I go to swap screens right here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna flip them as you can see there and now I have the presentation up here. And so now, if I go to new share here, and I go to the top screen and share, now what I should be showing here is the presentation program up here. I can have my control panel down here, which can be kind of nice because now I can still see my people. I can work off a much larger screen and share everything up here. So that is pretty cool too. So. I will say that despite the fact that this second monitor is kind of strangely shaped, it's not at the best angle, it's not the best brightness and clarity ever, it really is, again, very useful, especially in a telecommuting world, in a teleconference world, in a video conference world, where you want to have access to people, you want to be able to see them, almost like you're engaging with them, but yet have a really clean working space that's not compromised by things overlaying on top of other things. I think this is really the way to go. So, hey, if you want to pick up the Asus ZenBook Duo so that you can have a laptop that makes you more efficient with video conferencing, I'll put a link to it in the description. I really like it. Peter Von Panda, out.